Moving on to our special segment, Pollnomics, which decodes why India's polls matter to the global economy. In the next few months, India will face an election. However, experts say the polls this year are unlikely to spook investors. Not too long ago, India was famously grouped as part of Morgan Stanley's fragile five economies. And of course, 10 years later, India is investors' favorite. Take a look at this next report to understand the nuances of India's rise as the fastest growing major economy. The original fragile five economies included India, Indonesia, Turkey, South Africa and Brazil. They were expected to be the most vulnerable because they relied too much on foreign investment to grow. However, the market's view of India has changed almost 180 degrees since the term was first coined in 2013. Foreign investors will not be scared off by the polls this year. Researchers from Fidelity, Rubeco Group and ABRDN say the future looks better for the Asian giants rupee and bonds after successful programs of reforms and fiscal restraint over the past decade. Modi referenced the Fragile Five in a speech last month. He said, and I quote, The entire world used words like Fragile Five and policy paralysis for India. And in our ten years, we are among the top five economies. That is how the world talks about us today. End of quote. So what has changed and how do we measure the change in sentiment? Certain credit quality indicators for India have shown a significant improvement. For example, the cost to insure against a default by India has dropped by about 85% since a peak in 2013. Indian bonds rallied even as global bond markets sold off last year. The prospect of the inclusion of Indian assets in global indices has also given the country a much needed push. Reforms have improved India's fundamentals and resilience, creating some of the best opportunities for investors. In addition, the government's decision to focus on fiscal discipline in its recent budgets has also helped. India's plan to fix its finances has investors queuing up to put more money into the country. Now, many investors predict ratings agencies to acknowledge India's growing economic influence finally. In contrast, investors worry about a further downgrade to the United States credit rating ahead of the elections this year. So overall, policy stability despite elections this year is the mantra driving foreign investors into India. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.